we're not going to get a lot, Maria. I think we're going to get a lot of the same. You know, the real question here is, are they going to stop or taper back on their bond buying, which they may give us an indication that they're going to start thinking about tapering by the end of the year. So that's possible here. I suspect we're going to wait to get that information in the November meeting, only because the unemployment numbers came in relatively weak for August. Now, think about unemployment for September, which could be interesting, is the fact that those benefits, those extra benefits have gone away. So I suspect that employment, you know, is going to start to heat up, and that might be a reason to start to get an idea when we do taper, which could be, I would say, by the end of the year. The other question is, what's going to happen with interest rates? Um, you know, we have more Fed officials saying that they should be raised, you know, maybe by next year, as opposed to 2023. So it'll be interesting to see where Fed officials stand on that front, on that dot plot. Are we going to see more Fed officials looking to raise interest rates sooner than later? Um, but again, I don't think we're going to see much movement just yet. But I think by November, because I'm in the camp that the economy is going to continue to heat up, unemployment is going to continue to come down, and inflation is a bigger problem than the Fed wants you to think. But I think, you know, we're going to see more of that information come out in that November meeting. So I think it's be more of the same. The punch bowl is still there. The party's going to continue to go on, and markets are going to continue to go higher. That's my view.